In this Sudoku Primer video, we're going to solve a harder diabolical puzzle. It's a little bit, uh, a bit harder than uh, the ones we usually solve on this channel. This is a request from a subscriber, Andrew, who, re who asked me to uh, look at the, uh, the puzzle that Cracking the Cryptic um, solved on May 19th, uh, a couple of days ago. That's the Cracking the Cryptic uh, YouTube channel. And so they actually got the, the Cracking the Cryptic channel got the puzzle from the Daily Telegraph from, uh, and it was dated May 18th. So I'm going to uh, use what I call a what-if scenario. Uh, what-if scenario is just like trial and error, except for with trial and error, you take a pencil and you write down um, a, what you think where a number should go, and then you solve it as if that is the correct answer and see if it if you can complete the puzzle or not. Uh, but in uh, what-if scenarios, you, you do the same thing except for you don't write down the numbers with a pencil. So I'm going to keep my pen in hand and um, try and solve it without using a pencil at all. And uh, if you want to see a, an example of trial and error, go to A video, the video Sudoku Primer number 60. Uh, you can find that on the website sudokuprimer.com on the video index page. Just go to Sudoku Primer number 60 and, and watch that video and you can see a trial and error, uh, or watch a puzzle get solved using trial and error. So um, now that just like trial and error, um, I'm going to just jot down a couple of notes here. This is what I call a what if scenario. And what I mean by that is um, what if, the, what if uh, this number is right here? We're going to look at these two numbers right here. We've, we're missing a 4 and a 5 in this box. And you, as you can see, this puzzle is already uh, partially f completed. It's, it's gone as, as far as you can go using uh, uh, simpler techniques. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say, what if these are these two numbers? And then we're going to try and solve the puzzle without making any marks on the paper. Now just like trial and error, the what-if scenario has can have three possible outcomes. I just put three outcomes. Uh, the first outcome is you can just solve the puzzle. puzzle is solved and what that will mean is you chose the right numbers in this case we're going to cho choose a 4 and a 5 here because those are, the, those are the only two numbers left in this box and we're going to choose a 4 for the top and a 5 for the bottom row here and if those are correct we'll just be able to solve the puzzle by filling in the numbers as if this is a 4 and this is a 5. Okay, the second outcome or second scenario that could happen is you run into a conflict. And what that means is if you get the wrong number here, and we have a 50-50 chance of getting the right number here, um, if you get the wrong number, uh, 
then what will happen is somewhere down the road you'll run into a place where you have like the same same number in the same row in in a row or column or, or box or some other thing that just doesn't work and you know what's wrong okay so that's the second scenario and in that case um, what you what you know and it, conflicts are actually good because if you run into a conflict at that point you can just stop solving and you know that these two numbers are in the wrong place in this in this um, instance. So if you run into a conflict you just stop and you you know that the numbers that you chose for your, your what-if scenario or your what-if trial were wrong. Okay the third thing the third outcome you can have is you can just run out of moves and if you run out of moves um, on a, a more complex puzzle it's possible to to assume like in this case this is a 4 and this is a 5 and start continue to solve it as if that is a 4 and that is a 5 and then you just run out of moves again just like we did here and in that scenario you can um, you can do another what if choose a couple other numbers or choose another number and continue solving but just keep in mind that if you run out of moves these may not be may still not be right okay so that's the trickiest one that the third outcome or the third scenario so uh, those are the three scenarios that you may run into uh, we're hoping for either uh, number one or number two either get a conflict and there then we'll know we chose the wrong numbers or we'll just finish solving the puzzle so um, as I said when we use what if scenario we don't write I don't write any numbers down I just keep remember numbers in my head so we'll have a 4 here and a 5 here okay. and so that what that means is if this is a 5 then we know one of these is a 5 and then we've got a 9 here and a 9 here so we know we have five nine twins if this is a five here this is a four so if this is a four we know this is a four and that's a five and so we only have two numbers left in this row we got a five here a four here and what do we have left one two three four five six seven eight nine so two and six here there's a six here so we know that's a two and that's a six okay so in that in this scenario we would have the bottom row completed we'd have a five four two six we'd have five nine twins here but we don't know um, we can't solve those yet and again with with what with trial and error you just write the numbers in in pencil and they're easier to remember but this is another option I wanted to illustrate it I've never illustrated this in a video in a uh, video yet. So let's look at the situation here. We know we've got a 1 here. So we know one of these is a 1 and one of these is a 1. And we've got a 6 here and a 6 here. So we know one of these is a 6. So what, let's see. So one of these is a 6 right here. One of these two. And in the in this case we filled in a six here or we we've got a six in our mind right here because we've got a five four two six okay so we would know that um, well we still don't know if with these five or nines whether that's a five or a, a nine all right um, we have a nine here so one of these has to be a nine but uh, let's see one thing we do know is we got a five in one of these four cells and a five in one of these cells that with double row or double column elimination we know that we've covered these two columns so one of these is a five right here 
and we got a 5 there, so we know that this can't be a 5, so we got 5s here. But we've also got a 1 here, and a 1 here, and a 1 there, so we know one of these is a 1, so we've got 1, 5 twins here. Okay, and then if this is a 2, because we filled in the bottom row already, we know there's only one number left. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we know that's a 4. Okay, so so far we've got a 5, 4, a 4, 5, 4, 2, 6, 5, 9 twins, 1, 5 twins, and a 4 there. Let's see what else we can find out. Now, if we've got uh, four, one, four, and five here, we know that one of these is a two, one of these is a nine, and we know one of these is a six here. And we've also got one of these is an eight. We also know that one of these is an eight. So we got one, five twins here. four there and so one of these two can, can is an eight and look at this here we've got a two here and a two here so one of these is a two and we know one of these is a two with double row elimination we know one of these is a two right so because of that we've got two eight twins here so now we've got one five twins two eight twins, a four, and a six here from here, and what's left over is a nine. We've got a nine here, so we got six nine twins here. So we know this is a four, and again, I'm not writing numbers down, so if this is a four and this is five, we know that's a four. We know these are one five twins, two eight twins, and six nine twins. And because of that, we've got a six here, so we know that's a nine. We, that's not a five. We know this is a 9 because we've got a 9 here, we've got 6 9 twins here. So that's a 9. And so this would be a 5. So with this scenario, we've got two boxes completed now. We've got a 4 5s here, a 4 and a 5 there, and that box is completed. Here we've got a 5 9 2 6, so that box is completed. We've got a bunch of twins over here. Um, that we can't solve yet. One five twins, six nine twins, two eight twins, and a four. Okay, so at this point we've got two boxes solved in our mind. What do we have here? We got a four down here. So we got two, three, and six there. We got a three there, so we can't solve those. Uh, let's see. Three there. Got a five here and a four here. Got a four there, so we know one of these is a four. One of these is a four. This this is a four already, so we know this can't be a four. So we know that is a four. So we've got a five here. Well let's see, what do we have left? We got a five here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, or a nine left if that's a five. Here's a three, so that's a four or a nine, and there's a four there. So that's a nine. And we can't have a four here, so we know that's a four. So we've got a four and a nine, and then that's a three. If that's a three, there's a three there, so that would be a three. And if this is a three, we know this is a three. So now we just have two and six twins here, a uh, five and a nine there, and a three there. We got a three here and a three here, a four and a nine. Okay. So we've finished this row. We got a five, three, nine, four. So what's left on this in this box here? We got a one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two, three, and five are left here. We've got a two and a three here, and 
so we got four nine here so then we know these are two and three and there's a three there so we got a two here and a three here four nine and then that would be a five because that's the only number left so now we've solved this box okay so we got a five here well let's just go through the entire box we got a three here a four here a nine a two and a five so we've solved that box Now let's see, if this is a 5, then we know our 1, 5 twins, are they're solved. We've got a 5 here and a 1 here. So we've got a 5, 4, 1. 6, 9 twins, we can't solve yet. And 2, 8 twins, we can't solve yet. But we know we've got a 5 here, so 5, 5, 5, 1. And a 4. Okay, now if this is a 1, we got a one here, so one of these is a one. So we got a one here and a one here. So we know that middle middle box or cell right here is is a one. Okay. So we got a one there. These ones are completed. These ones are completed. Okay. So so we got a three here, um, and we've got nines right here, a nine here or here. We don't know where the, the 9 goes yet, but if we have a, a 3 here, we know that one of these has to be a 2, okay. and we got a 3 here. So these are, um, let's see, and then we got one of these is a 5, this is a 9 or a, well, we don't know what that is yet. Okay, so, um, Let's just review real quick. Let's look at all the boxes we've completed. Five, four, five. Let's see. This is a four. We don't know what these are. This is a three. So we got two six twins here. We're not. We haven't solved yet. We've got a five nine two six here. We've got a five five four one here. So we haven't completed that box yet. But this box we've completed. Three, four, nine, two, five. Okay, so we've got, let's see. Oh, here's another number we can complete. We've got a four here. We've got a four here, so one of these is a four. We've got a four and a four here, so that's a four. And we've got a nine here. Do we know? Let's see. 9 here, 9 here, so if that's a 4, one of these is a 9, oh that's a 3, so we know this is a 9, so we got 3, 4, 9 here, and let's see, 3, 4, 9, so what do we have left, a 1, 5, and a 6, 1, 2, 3, or 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, five, and six. So this has to be a one because it's got a one here and a here and a one there. If that's a four, then that has to be a one. So five and six are left and there's a six there. So that's a five and that's a six. So we just completed this box. We've got a one, three, five, six, four, nine. Okay. So far we haven't run into a conflict and we haven't run out of moves so so far we're on this track right here and solving it okay so we know this box we know this box we know this box we know this box let's see let's look at this box right here we've got a four here and a four here and a four here and a nine 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 we know one of these has to be a nine so if that's a nine then this has to be a nine we got a three here, so the only thing left is a two. So we got a nine and a two there, a three there, and five and six are left here, and we've got a five there, so we need that. No, that's a five and that's a six. So we've solved this box. Okay, let's review one more time, and that's the thing about doing what-if scenario. Doing it from memory, you have to kind of review every once in a while. 
yeah, four five five four two six five nine. So that's this box and this box. Here we've got a three four nine two five. Here we've got a one three five six four nine. Okay, we don't know we got the three here, but we don't know what where the two and six go yet. Actually, we do with this one. We've solved this box. We've got a nine, two, three, five, six here. Since there's a two here, we know that's a six and that's a two. We got three, six, two. So we've solved this box. So we've solved these two boxes, these three boxes, and this box. We've just got this box and these two to go. Okay. Let's see, so these three boxes we need to solve. What do we know up here? We know that this is a one right here. It's got one, one. We've got a, a one here and a one here. So one goes there. We've got a nine and a nine, so that's a nine. We've got a two here and a two here. So that's a two. So two, one, nine. We've got four and six left, right? This is a 6. We've got 3, 6, 2 here. So we know that this is a 6 and that's a 4. And that, that works because we've got 4, 4, and 4. 6, 6, 6. So I think we just solved this box. Uh, 2, 1, 9, 6, 4. Okay. And those all work. Let's see, we've got, where does the 2? The 2 is here in this box. Two's here in this box. We haven't solved that one yet. And the two is there. The one, 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 nine. Uh, see, nine. So nine, nine, nine. Okay. So now we know this is a six. Yeah, because we got a six here also. Six, nine, five, one, four, one. So 2, 8 we, we haven't solved yet, but we've solved everything else in this box. And we've got a 2, 1, 9 here, and a 6, and a 4 there. Okay, let's review one more time. 4, 5, 3, 6, 2, 4, 5, 9, 2, 6, 2, or I'm sorry, 9, 2, 3, 5, 6, here we've got a, let's see, a one, three, five, six, four, nine. And if we've got a one here and one there, we've got a one there. Okay. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So we've, we've reviewed these three boxes and these two. Up here we've got a three, four, nine, two, five. Here we've got a two, one, nine, six, four. And uh, so that leaves these two boxes here. We just found there's a one here and a one here, so that's a one. We've got a two here and a two here, so that's a two. So we just have five and eight left. There's a five there, because so we have five, nine, two, six. So that's a five and that's an eight. So if that's an 8, that's a 5, then, then, then we have 2 and 8 here. So we've solved these twins, these two 8 twins. We have 2 and 8 there. So I think we've solved all of them. Yeah, we've got a, let's see, 9, 9, 9. Yeah, 6, 9, 2, 8, 5, 4, 1. Okay, let me go through every box now, review them, and see if, the, see if we've solved every one. 3... Four nine two five two one nine six four six five two four eight. Is that right? Yeah, two four eight because that's a five. There's a five there. Five five. Yeah. Okay. Um, six five two four eight nine. One, 
one three six or five six four nine nine two three five six eight five two one four five three six two four five nine two six okay so <laughs> Let's fill the numbers in and see if we, I don't see any conflicts there. So let's fill in the numbers and see if we, if we got it right. Okay, so we have a 4 and a 5 there. And while I fill the numbers in, I'm going to one more time just kind of check my logic. I'm not just going to fill them in from memory. memory. I'll check my logic and make sure that I, I had them right. Um, so here's a 4 here because that, those can't be a 4. So we got 2 and 6 left here. There's a 6, so 2 and 6. That leaves 5 and 9 right here. Uh, so that's, we've got a 1, we've got 1's here. Because we've got a 1 there and a 1 there. So we've got 1's here and now we have 5's because of double column elimination. Fives here, and there's a five there, so one five twins. Okay. Um, with the one five twins, we got a four there, and then we had a three four nine here. There's a four and a three, so that's a nine there, and a th so three and four left. There's a four there, so that's a three, and that's a four. Right. And then we got a 3 and a 3 and a 3. I'm trying to remember the, the order I went in also so I can kind of uh, solve it in the same order. 3 and a 3 there, so that's a 3 there. So we've got two 6 twins there we can't solve yet. Okay, now we've got, let's see. And then we looked at this box here, I think. 2, 3, and 5. So we've got a 2 and a 3 here. So these are 2 and 3, and there's a 3 there. So 2, 3, and 5. All right, and now, let's see, we've got 6 and 9 here, I believe. Yeah, 5, 6, 4, 9. So 6 and 9 there, there's a 9. So 6 and 9, I'm just kind of checking my logic as I go to make sure, I, I could just fill in the numbers, but then I'd have to go back through the puzzle and check it and make sure I didn't uh, put numbers in the wrong place. So now we've got a 9 here and a 9 here, so that's a 9 right there, because of this 9. And because of this 2 there, that's got to be a 2. With a 2 and a 2 there, we got a 2 here. I did that one a little later, so I won't fill that one in yet. We have 5 and 6 left, and we got a 5 there. So I'll put the 5 there and the 6 there. Now we've got a 3 and a 6 here, so that's a 2. So we have 2 and 6 left. So um, we had 3, 2, 6 there, so 3 and 6. So that's a 6. <coughs> okay. Now we've got a 9 and a 9 there, so that's a 9. Okay, so we, now we've got 5, 1, 5 twins, 2, 8 twins, 6, 9 twins. Got a nine there. Uh, well, we did these one fives first, so I'll put the one fives in first. <coughs> and then we've got a six nine twins there, and there's a nine there. So we got two and eight left. We can't solve those yet. And so we've got uh, what, one and two here. So one and two there, there's a one there, so yeah, it was two, one, nine, six, four, and there's a four, so that's a six, and there's a four. Okay, I think so far we're, we're doing good. Uh, let's see, now we got, oh, and then we, then I think I, let's see, what do we have left here? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, four, and five. Yeah, we had four and four there, so 
we knew that was a 4. And then this has got to be a 1 because of this 1 here. And then so that's a 5 right there. Okay, and then let's see. Got 2 and 8 there. Um, so we got a 2 and a 2 there, so that's a 2. A 1 and a 1 there, so that's a 1. Now we got 5 and 8 left. We got 2 and 8 here, and 5 and 9. Oh, we did this 5 and 9 a little bit earlier on because we found that this is a 9, there's a 9 there. And therefore, that's a 5. And then that helps us find the 8 here and the 5 there. And then, therefore, we have a 2 there and an 8 there. And that's it. So that is a what-if scenario. Um, a little bit hard to follow, and it's uh, a little bit different than uh, trial and error because you have to go from memory. But boy, is that a good memory exercise. If you want to um, work on trying to remember things, I think this is a really good way of doing it. Um, so, And we solved a fairly difficult puzzle in the meantime. So I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, leave some comments. Uh, leave a comment, and I'll try and answer it. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.